Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna see how much can I sculpt in 10 hours. No, I'm not sculpting for 10 hours straight, but maybe in a future video. But today I'm gonna sculpt for four hours and then tomorrow I'm gonna sculpt for six hours straight. You may be asking, Tammy, why are you sculpting so much? Well, good question. It's because I have 179 pending orders to get out before December 15th. And that's not 180 items because a lot of people order multiple items so i'm guessing at the very minimum i will be making 300 items in less than a month so that's why we're sculpting today <laughs> i just want to make this as fun as i can for you and to be able to document my holiday rush because i didn't document it at all last year last year i did not touch a camera for a full month i was just working and sculpting orders but this year i want to have something that i can take from this other than exhaustion i want memories right now it's about 12 30 so we're getting a little bit of a late start let's just get started shall we it is very gloomy today which is actually perfect i find that whenever it's gloomy outside I'm more comfortable staying inside and working my desk and being cozy all day. Okay, so I'm on the Shopify website right now looking at all my orders and the way I like to tackle a bulk amount of orders is to do some simple math. So I have 179 pending orders. Um, let's just round that up to 180. Because I'm taking a little bit of a Thanksgiving break, I'm going to Houston to see my family. I won't be able to work those days. And like I said earlier, I want to get everything shipped by December 15th because December 16th is the USPS deadline for Christmas orders. So I have less than a month and if I take out the days that I'm gonna be in Houston, I really only have one, two, 15 days to sculpt and I'm gonna give myself three days to glaze and pack. Also pro tip is to get a cute calculator to make math more fun. 180 divided by 15, 12 orders. Am I doing this right? That is 12 orders, not items, but orders. Um, to make this make more sense, so this is what I see on my Shopify storefront. So this person only ordered one desk friend, but this person ordered two items. So that's two orders, but three items. So it quickly adds up as you can see, but I am just gonna write down 12 orders and get them sculpted. I hope I don't seem too stressed about this because I am truly just so grateful and this is fun. I'm living my dream, you know? So I always write down the orders on a sticky note so that I can cross it out as I go. This is just the best system for me mentally. And also I can double check, like crossing out items here as well as checking off things on my computer. It takes time, but it's fun. Okay, this is how much I have to make today. Very excited because a lot of these are bunny pancake magnets, so I can just make a big batch of them and do a lot of damage relatively quickly. So finally now, we are ready to sculpt. All right, that was my first order done. I'm feeling pretty good. I usually don't get tired until like 3 p.m. It is currently 1.40, so we still have a good two hours before I hit my afternoon crash, at which point I will be consuming caffeine to keep myself going. That one desk friend took me around 30 minutes to make, which is 
typical. I feel like people always either overestimate how much I can truly make in a couple days, but in reality, I'm hand making everything. One item takes me around half an hour and that's just to sculpt it. That's not even to paint it or glaze it or pack it and ship it. So having a handmade item business is no joke. I'm just gonna drink some more water, get back to work. This is what the lily pad looks like. I have green all over my fingers, but I hope that angle was worth it. <laughs> Second sculpt is done. It's a frog pen holder. I will be adding foil before I bake to hold the arms up so that I can actually hold a pencil. But yeah, I'm feeling tired now. <laughs> it's 2.24 now and I've only finished my second sculpt of the day. So I'm trying not to get discouraged. To be fair, I'm filming while I'm sculpting. So I'm trying to get all these different angles. So naturally things are just taking a lot longer than they usually do. I'm going to place this on the tray now and I think I'm going to make myself some tea. I'm going to focus more on sculpting, less on filming, and I'll check in with you maybe in an hour or so. <sighs> Okay, hello, welcome to my couch. We're gonna take a quick break from sculpting. As you guys know, when I'm not sculpting, I am editing. And especially now that it's holiday season, CapCut Online is the one-stop shop to make your Christmas marketing content for anyone, anytime, anywhere for free. Now you don't have to download an expensive, complicated editing software. You can just edit from your browser. So let's explore it together. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the CapCut Online video editor. You can sign up through Google. I'm gonna do that right now. And after you register, you immediately gain access to all of these resources. One button you'll wanna be familiar with is the ratio button because you're gonna be uploading to different platforms. So 16 by nine is for YouTube. Right now I'm gonna make a reel. So that's gonna be nine by 16. And to upload, you can obviously drag and drop footage from your computer or you can link it directly to Google Drive, which I think is so amazing, especially if you don't have an iPhone with AirDrop, you're gonna be utilizing your Google Drive a lot and CapCut can talk directly to Google Drive. So you're gonna authorize this real quick. And then I already have some videos here, so I'm just gonna import this. And now we're all set, we're here in my studio, we can edit it however we like. And let's say I changed my mind, I don't wanna make a reel anymore, I can simply resize it for YouTube and then stretch this video out. And let's say I have all these product photos, but I want to batch edit them. You can do that in CapCut Online as well. All you have to do is go back to the homepage and click on Magic Tools, and there you can see is Batch Edit. So you can add up to 50 photos to batch edit, which is crazy. And this is so amazing for product photos specifically because you can remove the backgrounds all at once, which is such a game changer, honestly, and then change the background to something more professional or something more cozy or something more Christmassy. So here I'm trying out the moss background and I love how it changes the background depending on the photo. So as you can see, each one is a little bit different to best suit the needs of the photo. And to make it more Christmassy, I'm trying out the snow mountain thing, which is so cute. I think it actually looks like the product photo was taken on the mountain, which is really cool. They also have Christmas templates. So this would be so amazing for Instagram stories. For this template, I'm gonna remove the background again. And this is so cute as well. If you didn't wanna use one one of their Christmas templates, you can use a template that best suits your needs. So I like this jewelry collection one here because it says special collection. And you can Christmasify your designs with only one click, literally. CapCut Online will help to auto-adapt your assets with great Christmas color themes. And as we all know, CapCut is one of the best place for templates and green screen effects. So they transferred all of those amazing things onto CapCut Online as well. You have access to a full library of stock images and videos. You can resize any of those assets for free and all in all, CapCut Online is your one-stop shop for making Christmas promotional content, whether it's for your small business, art, or content creation. Sign up for CapCut Online by using the link down below. And thank you again, CapCut Online. This 
tea is so good. It actually smells and tastes like gingerbread, but it's just ginger tea and lemon. I've been watching Haley fan vlogs pretty much all day. I've been really into reading again and she's one of my favorite book creators. Um, her videos are just so fun to watch. I love watching people read all day because I'm like living vicariously through them. If you have any good book recommendations, comment down below. <laughs> It is 4.19 now and I have to stop. I have to take a pause because my friends are coming soon. So I have to clean up a bit of this mess for them. But I'm pretty much done with these bunny pancakes. Here they are. I just have to add the syrup still, but that'll take like five minutes. So here is what I managed to sculpt in three hours because I started at one and now it's four. But yeah, I've made six items, five orders. I think if I had more time, I would definitely be able to get all 12 orders done today. So I might sculpt later tonight, we shall see. But for now, I gotta do the dishes. <laughs> It's 7.56 in the morning, which is already pretty good. I'm already ahead of schedule. I want to start working at 9. So now I have like an hour to do my artist way reading as well as my morning pages. So I might do a video on this in the future, but I'm hesitating because there's just so many videos already that are great on the artist way. There's Apple Cheeks whole series on the artist way. I think Paloma talks about it in one of her vlogs. So there's just so many great, great videos on the artist way already, but I highly recommend it. It's really been helping me, not even just with my creativity, but in my life. Hi again, it's 9-11 and I'm gonna get back to work. This is how much I sculpted yesterday in three hours. Not much at all, but today we are gonna fix that. I'm gonna add the syrup to these pancakes, make another pancake, and then work on all my other orders. I'm really hoping to get a lot, a lot today because I am flying to Houston tomorrow morning. Let's get it. Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to It is basically 12 o'clock. Crazy, I've been awake for like five hours already, but here is what the hall is looking like. Pretty good, we're building up momentum. And now I'm just gonna eat lunch real fast. Try not to get tired, my back is hurting, so maybe after lunch I'll start standing. I have a standing desk, which is such a luxury. But not what it seems. The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out every living thing Every... Hello. Um, 
I decided to take my work outside for a bit because it is so nice outside. It's 50 degrees, but because the sun is like beating down on me, it feels much warmer. So whenever I do sculpt outside, I tend to get everything ready. I have my little balls of clay already. I have all the colors I need um, and nothing more than that because I'll probably just go back inside after I finish sculpting these two bunnies. But yeah, it'll be a good time. I'm feeling so much better now that I'm getting some fresh air. I mean, as fresh as downtown city air can be. Good evening Uncomfies, it is 4.28 and I'm calling it the end of my 10 hour sculpting challenge. It wasn't really a challenge in terms of like working for 10 hours straight, but I just wanted to see how much I could sculpt in 10 hours. We have a cow desk friend, a tangerine maxine desk friend, a cottage core pen holder, an alpaca on a bear, two frog pen holders, a coffee bara, a green pumpkin maxine, a mini maxine, mini maxine earrings, eight bunny pancake magnets, and finally two puffer bunny keychains. So that makes a total of 20 items made in 10 hours. I'm not mad or disappointed in myself, but I used to be able to make three items in an hour, but that was back when I only made radish spirits and they were very amorphous characters. And I guess it makes sense that as I developed over the years and made more complicated, more intricate characters, my production time has just gotten longer. It's funny because I actually really want to keep sculpting. In my mind, it's only 4.30 p.m. So the day is still young. I have like six more hours until it reaches 10 p.m. But I'm trying to get better at setting boundaries for myself. Even though I didn't make the total 24 orders in two days I was hoping for, I did make 18 orders in two days, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna clean up now and then get myself ready and prepared to head to Houston. I still haven't packed, so I need to do that. I need to do my laundry. I need to clean up the apartment for Mr. Uncomfy, and I just need to spend some quality time with him as well. So thank you for watching this vlog. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Please like the video, it helps me so much. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over